population is in the verge of extinction. It's just a ticking time bomb. So when you're poisoning actually animal, you might not know that you are poisoning the entire nation. Our biodiversity is affected by changes in climate change and other extreme events. At the same time, climate change also worsens other threats like habitat destruction, overexploitation, and disease. But they not only impact our natural environment, they have impacts on all its inhabitants. The impacts of climate change are becoming increasingly clear, longer, and more intense droughts threaten crops wildlife and fresh water supplies. Our planet's diversity of life is at risk of changing climate. Part of the problem is human population growth. Kenya's population size has tripled in the last 50 years and people's lives are changing. In the Mara ecosystem, many Maasai people are shifting from being pastoralists to farmers. They are converting their land to crops but still have strong economic and cultural links to cattle herding. This spread of farming reduces natural habitats and increases human wildlife conflict. It also reduces pasture land, so many pastoralists are taking their cattle into the Maasai Mara Reserve. Because of growing human populations, pastoral communities also have large life, you know, large herds of livestock, and predators and livestock have come, you know, at a they've, they've locked horns primarily because the nomadic lifestyle of pastoral communities has been curtailed because of changes in land use, but also as protected areas start to shrink and animals that leave protected areas find it very difficult to get their food and hunt, and so it's very easy to take a cow or a goat. And usually when this happens, livestock owners are not compensated. And when this happens, obviously they get very upset uh, and they would like to take the law into their own hands. So they will poison the dead animal in the hope of killing the predator, but in essence, you get hundreds of vultures that come to feed on this poisoned carcass and they all die. Uh, if you take the cumulative effect of all that over the whole East African region, that has caused a massive decline in vulture populations. And that actually might just lead to an enormous decline because you can kill about a hundred of them. We have a scenario in Namibia which an elephant was killed and they poisoned and 500 vultures died. So that is a big loss. Poisoning is worse than actually the single bullet or the single arrow on one individual. Well, if you read the literature, it tells you a lot about poisoning. But uh, let me uh, zero into the Mara ecosystem or the landscapes of Kenya. If today you poison a cow and a cow is eaten by either hyenas or, do uh, or dogs, and then the polytan drains into the streams. And you know, all of us do not get pipe water. This is a, a developing country or third world country. So the very innocent Kenyans, in the countryside draw water from the wells and the rivers. And as a result, you, you will get poisoning or you get actually people getting funny diseases. And the entire population is, is affected as a result. So when you're poisoning actually animals, you might not know that you are poisoning the entire nation. Killing lions is illegal, but poisoning is especially heinous as it cascades havoc down the food chain. For example, at least six black and white-backed vultures died from feeding on toxic carcasses. These remarkable birds are, in effect, a fast-acting biological recycling unit. It's been estimated that over its lifetime, a single vulture provides waste disposal services worth around $11,600. Why are lions killing cows in the first place? It seems like a very straightforward question with a simpler answer, because cows are prey to lions. Certainly, this is true. But what of the millions of other prey species that lions have been eating for almost a million years? According to Kenya Wildlife Services, Many parts of the reserve are now just dry, bare earth. With nothing remaining for them to eat, the masses of zebras, wildebeest, elands, and others leave the Mara to look elsewhere for food, and resident lions turn to hunting livestock. Although it's thought that no species has yet become extinct exclusively because of climate change, 
many migratory and non-migratory species are expected to become extinct in the near future. Today, Africa's vultures are disappearing at a devastating rate. Human-wildlife conflict is associated with larger, more endangered species like the elephant, leaving scavenger birds like vultures vulnerable. Species are under threat in more than one way. Our climate is changing, both naturally and due to human exploitation. There is already undeniable evidence that animals, birds and plants are being affected by climate change and global warming in both their distribution and behavior. To adequately address this crisis, we must urgently reduce carbon pollution and prepare for the consequences of global warming, which we are already experiencing.